Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for March 8th to the 22nd. For March, uh, well, first of all, um, before I get into the forecast, I want to talk about the system we're going to be affecting the East Coast. I think well, most of the talk has died down about this, but I'm going to cover it anyway. We're going to go here and we're going to see we have a system here. This is the GFS. This is um, later on tonight. We have a system here and a system here. And um, this system will cause snow across the Great Lakes into the interior northeast. This system will bring rain and thunderstorms to the southeast. And then as we go further, like tomorrow morning, now the system's offshore. This system here weakens and it kind of gets merged with this other system. But it doesn't happen until it gets uh, offshore far enough to spare most of the area heavy snow you can see here system gets wound up this is gfs you can see we have heavy uh rain heavy snow here across this area this sends back light snow maybe a mix of rain and snow inland that's seven o'clock friday and then we go to saturday and there's still some light snow but the system really gets ramped up here so that's the uh, gfs here's the european and Here's a European, shows the system off the shore, off the coast. And then we have the um, European ensembles, brings it down to 993. And then we have the um, Canadian, and we have the um, Nav Gem. All showing a fairly intense storm here off the east coast. Okay, so... Um, so with that um, system form where uh, further out, this will keep much of the area um, not being impacted by the heaviest precipitation. Okay, we're going to get back to the forecast. This is for the period for March 8th to the 12th. And we go to 8th to 12th, and you can see here, this is the European, uh, the GFS. We have a ridge here, trough ridge trough now we have a trough here at the beginning of the period but that'll slowly lift out and i want you to watch the motion of this you can see that the ridge kind of builds towards the west coast pushing the trough the east pacific trough inland which pushes the um the ridge further into the east pushes the ridge out or pu pushes the trough out of the east and replaces by a above normal height so as a result we end up with western trough eastern ridge okay also during this period we're going to get back to the other maps we will have um two southern streams or two streams that would be um, feeding systems into the west and you see right here we have a northern stream oops let me get back here We have our northern stream system moving in here and another system moving into this region. Now, um, this will cause rain and mountain enhanced snow. Now, um, areas, this system here will be watching and it develops here. I'm going to go back to Monday in the Lee of the Rockies. And this will progress eastward and interact with the return flow from the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see here we have, um, this will cause rain and storms across this area. And this will be on Tuesday. And then areas to the north might have a mix of snow and rain and ice maybe. And that will occur on Wednesday parts of the Great Lakes into the northeast. You can see right there. But um, so we have two separate st uh, storm streams, I'm going to call them, southern and northern streams. Okay, um, we're going to get back to the upper pattern. Now we're going to talk about the period for March 13th to 17th. And we have a ridge forecast near the Aleutians. A trough extends from Alaska to along the west coast. And we have above normal heights across the remainder of the nation. Miles of good agreement. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for the west coast and forecast anomalies of two degrees below normal above normal temperatures forecast for much of this region here and forecast anomalies of four six degrees 
above normal for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 35%. And then we have above normal precipitation for much of this area here. And the probability of occurrence is 40%. Taking a look at the period now for uh, March 18th to 22nd. And uh, we're still forecasting our ridge here near the Aleutians. We have a trough ridge. This is GFS. The GFS is very amplified with this flow. We have our ridge here of the Caribbean again, or the Gulf of Mexico, what we've been having all winter. And But the other system is showing generally the same thing, but weaker height anomalies compared to the GFS. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for this area. And I'm forecasting anomalies near 4 degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures are forecast from the plains to the Atlantic coast. And I'm forecasting anomalies to be near 6 degrees above normal. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here. And for this region, the probability of occurrence is 35 to 45%. And below normal precipitation here. And the probability of occurrence is 35%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for March 8th to 22nd. Thanks for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather and have a good day.